Um, we had seen a, 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 a worrisome message from the young woman. Um, she shut down all her social media accounts. And then she said this, I am not perfect, but I am done. Done with the negativity, done with the online bullying, done with being judged constantly. I am mentally exhausted. And so she's here to talk about, just the day after that message, to talk about what's going on. This is me, right? I'm going into the house. I'm going mm. to play my game. I'm going to play the games in the house. Mm. Baby Nigeria is supposed to be a show. It's, a, it's an entertainment product. It's supposed to be a game, fun, you know. Come drag my son into this place. Leading to mental breakdowns and online bullying. I mean, I'm not blaming Big Brother, obviously, but today, with Tega, I want to understand what is really going on. So you told my producers that when they asked you about the experience that taking you to John Zero in your life, you said life before BBN. Yes, um, life before BBN, which was, um, uh, of course, my marriage, childbirth, mm. and then, of course, my dad passing. Right. Yeah, my dad passed the um, 1st of January. So I had... 1st of January this year? Yes, 1st oh. of January, 10th. 15 a.m. So it's like I think that was like the crown of it all. Mm. You know, I've had my own postpartum, you know, depression, mm. you know, going through marriage, mm. you know, and then his passing really it shook me. And of course, I've not been able to express my grief completely because I'm this hard man, hard man kind of person. <laughs> you know, I'm always the one being there for everybody. You know, so I haven't really been able to express my grief. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. So those three moments have mm -hmm. really dragged me to the ground. And people don't really see it, funny enough. But I've just been going through it with my teeth like this. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Why do you think they don't see it? I don't know. Maybe because I don't put it out there. Mm -hmm. You know, when you ask me how you doing, I'm like, I'm fine. I'm this kind of person that... I don't know how you're feeling at that particular time. Mm. And if I come with my own problems, mm. you know, and I'm like, I'm like this, I'm like this. I don't know what you're going through at that point. I don't want to drag you into my dark circle, mm. you know. Because, so I'm always like, I'm good. You need to be strong. Mm. I, well, I use the opportunity to, to drag energy, mm. Mm. to tap energy from whoever is around me. Mm. You know, so I, I don't go, I'm feeling this way, I'm sad. Nah, I, I don't know how to do it, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Right. right. What happened to your dad, though? <sighs> this man woke up one day, uh, he started with, I'm having headache, the next thing, fever, the next thing, his blood pressure rose. And 31st, well, he, we, tra we traveled together for a wedding, funny enough, and then we came back together. Mm. And he was at my place. And 31st, we were like, oh, happy new year and stuff. The next day, I was going to church. Some type of way, I came back. We spoke. Like, how are you feeling? He was like, he's fine, but he can't really breathe. You mm. know, he can't breathe. So he doesn't know what's going on. I'm like, but he was, resp this is how he was talking. You know, he's fine, but he can't breathe properly. I asked, okay, where's my younger sister? Where's Charity? And he was like, Charity just stepped out now. <laughs> that was his response. He, he spoke very well. And the next five minutes, he started breathing. You know, the whole I'm dying kind of breathing. And the next moment, he passed. Right, right there? Right there. Like, in front of me, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. And... The only thing I remembered was the doctor telling me, if anything happens to you now, mm. your mom is gone. Mm. You know, because mm. I have, I used to have an elder brother, mm -hmm. which he's late now. Right. So 
I'm like her eye. So she was like, he was like, if anything happens to you now, put yourself together. If anything, so that was just it for me. Mm. So I've been dragging the grief since that time, and been crazy. So you're the only child now of your mom. No, we're two. I have What's a younger you? sister. Right, but you're the elder one, so you're yeah. the one that she would be looking. So how are you able to? I'm sorry about his passing, by the way. Um, how are you able to find the drive to go into the Big Brother house after such a big? Okay, um, going into the Big Brother house has always been something I wanted because I haven't really been around people who who can like, okay, this is it. You want to do this. Let me introduce you to this. Let me introduce you. So I've always been setting the pace for myself all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. So I used to see Big Brother as a platform where I can be known for my crafts, you know, what I do. I love to work with my hands, you know. I'm not a nine-to-five kind of person, mm -hmm. right? So I love to channel my energy into doing stuff with my hands, like sew, make beads, make, you know, do make, like anything I can do with my hands, basically. So I used to see, this is my fifth try, and thank God this time I went in. So when it came up, I was like, okay, this was, this was supposed to be like an exit point for me. Mm. Because, like I said, uh, my life before the house, I've been through a lot, you know, emotionally and mm. otherwise, mm. you know. So I was like, maybe I should just do this. Mm. Let me just do this. Mm. And then, well, like we say, you never can expect it. No matter how good you are, mm. you never can tell what they're actually looking for. Mm. You know, Who's and the... then um, Big Brother. Right. The company Big Brother. So you never can tell what they are looking for. And then I, I tried and I did the first interview. After some time, it went through. I was like, okay, let's just keep trying. And then it went on and on and on till the last phase. Mm. That was more like, that was supposed to be like a distraction for me. And like I said, it's a distraction and also an experiment for me. Because mm. I'm always like, if I don't see the end of something, let me just what's waiting did this place, you know? And thank God you went through. Mm. And then I got into the house. So of course, life in the house was ups and downs. You know, we had our ups and downs. And uh, mm. where I got the energy from, I don't know. And yeah, I contemplated I con I contemplated um voluntary exits like mm. number of times. And at some point, I was looking for a distraction. And then when I think about voluntary exit, I'm like, you came this far. Mm. You know, why do you want to live in this manner? Mm. You know, you, you were chosen out of millions of people who came for thousands of people who came for this interview. Mm. And you were chosen. And then one time we had this issue. He said, someone told him they caught me in a hotel, red-handed with a man. I'm like, okay. Eventually, if you have a cheating spouse, that can trigger that. Did you have a cheating spouse? Well, um, I got to know that, well, he cheated and he took someone home. I am deep spiritually. Okay. So how I got to know was one day I was in class. I just it was more like a trance. I saw him driving. A babe was in front. I was like, what's this? What's going on? I saw it like twice. So I called my sister and I asked her what's going on. She denied. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, no problem. <laughs> I relate with the guys in my street a lot. Okay. You know, so I called one of them and the normal way I did some uh, FBI shit. <laughs> and then he came up with, okay, he's always bringing this babe to the house. Yeah. And this is, my sister is at home. Mm. My kid is at home. Your brother is at home. Mm. And you bring this girl to the house. That was the height of disrespect for me. Mm. Mm. You know, not like I didn't know he was doing stuff outside, mm. but then bringing this girl home was just it for me. Mm. Yeah. And then. We talked about it and he was so defensive. What really broke me was when he said, you went to Lagos to go and be with a man. You know, 
That's why I did all of this. Mm -hmm. When Big Brother came, I was like, okay, this is going to fly. Mm -hmm. And then my mom talked to me, I shouldn't do this. So I now spoke to him, I said, this is what I want to do. First of you know me, you know who you got married to, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I'm crazy, but I'm decent, right? And also, aside being crazy, I get sense. Mm. If you expect me to go to that house and come back without doing something, then we are both not normal. Without doing something, what do you mean by when doing something? When I mean something? something like... Catching feelings? No, not catching feelings. Okay. Like maybe say something like... Cause wahala, okay, okay. you know... Something that, that will make you stand Yeah, out, you right? know, definitely. So I now told him, I said, this is me, right? I'm going into the house. I'm going mm. to play my game. I'm going to play the games in the house. Mm. I may kiss. I may cuddle. Mm. But I'm not going to have sex. You told your husband I this? I told him straight up. Like I said, I'm very outspoken. If he doesn't favor me, I'll tell you this thing doesn't favor me. Mm. Straight up. And I told him, I said, I'm not going to have sex. Not because of you. Mm -hmm. But because of the respect I have for God and the fear I have for God mm. and, of course, the institution, we are still legally married, mm. right? So I'm not going to do it. But every other thing, just know it's a game. It is a game. That's why people go in as villains and come out as saints. Mm. You're like, you're trying to compare their lives. They are not the same people. Mm. It's a game. It's a show, mm. you know. And maybe the mistake I made was going into the house as married. Because me, I know myself. Mm. Definitely. So, yeah, life started. We went mm -hmm. into the game. And I told mm -hmm. him, I said, whatever you see, please mm -hmm. do not say anything. Mm -hmm. Be behind. Mm -hmm. Navigate the boss to your business. Mm -hmm. You have a business growing, right? Navigate that boss to your business. Mm -hmm. Don't project yourself. Project the business instead. Right. That's what you said to him. That's what I said to him. Right, for himself. For himself. Right. So you knew that you boss know, was coming. I knew so definitely. He's going to use, he should use it. He should use it okay. for himself. Okay. Navigate it to your business. You mm. have a business page. Let the boss go there. You mm. know, we talked about it. They are asking you. They are looking for you. Where is this girl's husband? They are looking for you. Mm. Navigate it to your business. Let them come and see what you're doing. Okay. okay. Instead of coming out to talk, don't say anything. Mm. You know, don't just... Let them not know you physically. Mm. Let them just have it in their head that, okay, she's mm. married. Mm. You know. And then, the normal me, and knowing who he is, you know, I had people in place to like, okay, make sure you guys keep this guy in check. Because mm. I know say go cast. So I literally shot myself in the foot. I mm. knew something was going to happen, but I just thought, okay, maybe I can trust you. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. maybe I can trust you. Mm -hmm. And then, he first week i heard he was already gra almost granting interviews mm. sponge was calling him vanga was calling him this you heard it when you came out when i came out mm. and then that week when um the truth or dare where um saga he went viral the saga went to my i'm like went to your that, yeah that he sucked my boobs and yes. i was like okay he didn't. Because the position I stood, I stood in a way that the cameras won't even see me. Mm. Whatever I was doing, mm. the, my, the housemates did not even know what was going on. Okay. You know, I mm. won't let that, definitely. Mm. Mm. You know. So, so what was going on? Why do people have that thought? Because I did this, mm -hmm. and I opened, and then when they asked, he didn't do it. I was like, he did it. You know, that was us talking. He did it. He did it. Please leave him alone. Why did you do that? Because... I'm always like the anchor of the game and I always force you to do what you're supposed to do. Okay. You know, so when it was my turn, they were like, you have to do it because you're always forcing. So when they, when they now said he didn't do it, I said he did it. Okay. Just leave him alone. He did just so it. that you could pass the game. Yes, so okay. I could just go through the game. So did your husband do an interview after that? Is that what you're saying? Um, he said something. He made a statement. He said that um, that's his wife, that she's just playing the game and all that. And the plan was, do not talk. Mm. Don't say anything. Don't even say anything. Don't say a word. Mm. And then when the whole Boma issue came up, and then 
he made a release that he cheated on me that's why he that's why whatever i'm doing that's why whatever i'm doing in the house he deserves it mm. you are indirectly feeding the minds of people mm. that i'm actually cheating mm. that you are actually cheating. yes that i'm actually cheating yes we kissed you and Boom. Yes, um, it was very Boma. obvious. Yes, you and we Boma. kissed. You and Boma kissed. We kissed. Okay. And there were other things that went on, like hugs, cuddles. Mm. Mm. We slept on the same bed. Yes. Right? In my head, in as much as I knew he was watching, first, it was a game. Mm. Second, I was getting pained because. There were things I was saying in the house that were mm. not true. Right. You were getting pain. Yes, I was getting pain because like mm. when I say pain, I mean there are some things I'll say. Mm. I'll say he's supportive, he's this, ah, and okay. then I'm so angry. At yourself for saying yes. this. Yes. And I don't want to paint him as this kind of person. Mm. I want to paint him as this kind of person. Mm. And I know it is not true. Right. Right. Why were you doing that? Because in my head, we have had a conversation. Mm. And in my head, I was like, if this goes through mm. the way we planned, it, maybe I can trust him some more. Okay. okay. Maybe this can actually make us work. Right. You know. Just quickly, was it, I think there was a time where you also said that the marriage was a scam. Is that true? Well, yeah. I made that statement mm -hmm. because the guys, in fact, there's no guy in the house. Mm that would would not say that they didn't wish i was not married why i'm a guy girl kind of person mm. right mm. i can be with the guys i can be with the girls mm. and i will rapport freely mm. with mm. everybody so they were like why are you married so they they, they gave me this distance because mm. i was married okay you know and they were like to say you never marry eh? you know everybody wanted that vibe mm. you know and then so you were okay so you were saying this was a scam to make them more comfortable yes and i i really wanted to hear what they had to, to say, say. Right. you know so i made that i said what if when i come up for a house now and i can't say i don't marry mm -hmm. and then the expressions on their face was just mind-blowing mm -hmm. and then perry went hmm. i go first send boys made them flog you <laughs> you know and boma went hmm. let's say they chris mm -hmm. you know <laughs> And the guys around, they were just dropping their comments. It was mm. fun to see them react that way. Right. Okay. You know? Okay. And then there was this other one that came out that I said I had the fame. If my mm. husband said, we were having a conversation. You had the what? I'm um, the one that has the fame. Right. You know, it went very viral. Mm. We were having a conversation. Mm. And then one of, I think one of the girls, one of the guys said, what if, I, I can't remember who I had that conversation with, mm. but he said, what if you go out? And your husband says he doesn't want to marry again. I just laughed. I said, in my interview, I was asked the same question. Mm. And I said, I'll try to make it work. Mm. Right? And if he still doesn't want to, mm -hmm. I cannot kill myself. Mm. I have a kid. I'm not going to go into depression because of that. At least the small fame that I've gathered here, I'm going to use it to start my life mm. afresh. Mm. Mm. You know, at least build something to be able to take care of myself and my and kid. kid. You deleted your Instagram account yesterday. Yes, I did. Why? We got really close and he was the only one that knew I was going through a lot mm. in the house. He could tell yeah. mm. I was going through something aside the house. Right. You know, so... He was always there to like try to talk me out of it, mm -hmm. you know. And then for some reason, the housemates started shipping us. Mm. What does shipping us? <laughs> shipping means they just. Oh, they're talking about the relationship. Yeah, they just started right. shipping us. There were times that we were doing it in the face of the housemates. Mm. There were times. Doing we were, what? Like flirting. Maybe, yeah, flirting with ourselves in the face of housemates. Okay. And then the cameras were just done to us. Mm. Can you see the cameras turning to you? Yeah. And at that point, normally we're supposed to ignore it, mm. but it's late, mm. so we know, mm. you know. And at that point, just like we we'll start kissing, we we'll start mm. doing something, you know. What does something mean? Like kissing, cuddling, okay. you know. And that tissue um, incident, I can't really tell because I was I, I was even shocked to see the video. Mm. 
that tissue. I saw the video where he carried the tissue and passed mm -hmm. it inside. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know what was going on because I was sleeping. You were sleeping? I think I was sleeping because my eyes were closed. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I was wondering what I was doing at that time mm -hmm. that it happened. I can't really place what was going on. Okay. But what I know is that we didn't have sex. Right. Because I made it clear to myself. He knows that nothing can even happen outside the house. Mm. It was all cruise. And we said it outrightly. It was all cruise. What is he going to benefit from me? Mm. He knows I'm married. Mm. In as much as I was going through my own face. Right? I think to him, he thought I was more like a safe zone for him. Because mm. he tells me lots of stuff. Are you afraid that this will have uh, adverse consequences on your plans, on your career, on the things that you want to do? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. Before the house, mm -hmm. I had my plans. Mm -hmm. After the house, I still have my plans. Mm -hmm. Regardless. Okay. I'm still going to do all I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I wanted this platform for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Right? I wanted this platform to expand myself, my mm -hmm. craft, help people as much as I can, as many people as I can, you know, get certain things rolling for certain people mm. be a ladder I, I didn't have the opportunity mm. you know be a ladder for someone else right you know right. so i'm still and going still to be i'm that. still i'm still focused on it irrespective of whether i'm going to get help from people or mm. not mm. right i'm still going to do i'm still going to try as much as i can to make people happy right you deleted your instagram account yesterday yes i did why and, and I that was a scary it. mess i was worried yeah. I saw you tweet, I'm exhausted. Yes. Yeah. Literally, I was exhausted. I just mm. needed a day or two off. Okay. I was exhausted because this was not the plan. Mm. It turned out to be this way. Mm. Nigerians can humble you. <laughs> they can make you and they can mar you, mm. you know. I was exhausted. I'm not even going to lie. I was exhausted, but not to the point where maybe I have to take my life or okay. anything. I just needed to purge. Since after the show, mm. I haven't been able to purge. I haven't been able to vent. Mm. You know, I, I carried a lot of anger out of the house. Okay. That I wasn't able to express. Right. You know, so I just needed that time to go off. Mm. And then going off my Instagram... I wanted to also use the opportunity to rest as well okay. and then get back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. You know, there are, you, you can have plans mapped out, mm -hmm. but these plans are in stages. Mm -hmm. So you don't make, because of pressure, you don't make the mistake of doing the plan, plan 10 mm -hmm. in plan 2. Right. You know, so I needed this time to, you know, re-strategize. Mm -hmm know the things I actually really want to do mm. and fix it before, before I come coming back. back. Mm. This life is about to begin. If we must be together, we must be able to fund this life. Mm. So get back to work. And he didn't do that. And he didn't do that. I came out to him having 50 something K followers mm. and then the business page was long 4K. <laughs> what exactly were you doing? Mm. Have you spoken to him since you came out? Yes, I have. Have yeah. you asked him why he did it? Why well, he didn't stay with the plan? He hasn't really given me any concrete reason why mm. he didn't stay with the plan. And to me, I just felt you misused an opportunity. Mm. Mm. Right? I feel the things he said is dragging me to the mud. And the things he said while you were in the house? Yes, the mm. things he said. I, 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 there were other things he said which... I'm like, there were other things that happened behind the scene. Like, the week I was up for nomination, mm -hmm. you know, you go to where people are voting. I had a strategic team that I set up mm -hmm. that whatever information, before it goes out, it should be here first. Okay. You know, just in case I go into the house. You never can tell if you're going to make it into the house or, or not. not. Right. But if I make it into the house, this is where information goes out from first. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to where they are voting and you mm -hmm. tell them to stop voting. Why would you do that? So you stop voting so that you can leave the house? Yes, that's what he was saying. Why? I don't know. Did you ask him? 
she has not been able to tell me that openly but like i say in the multitude of many you should have mm. a witness at least someone you should be able to speak for you but everybody is saying the same thing mm. what did you do to these people that they are against you mm. that means you have said it so you think you wanted to sabotage you well for some reason maybe yes Hmm. Why would you ask them to stop voting? Why would you say you were going to sue me or sue Boma? Like, why would you be making statements like, like that? that? What is going to happen to the man? Are you guys? What's going, is, where does he live? Calabar or Lagos? He's still in Calabar. Well, he's still in Calabar right now. And you are in Lagos. I'm in Lagos. What's going to happen to this marriage? Now? Um, well, I don't know. I just, I just feel we should be able to sort it out. Really? Yes, we should be able to sort it out if we can because at this point i feel betrayed i mm. feel betrayed not only you came out you made some other statements there were other things i saw like were you know conversations with some babe um how you know i can't really say because what is hurting me is that i didn't get a scream much of it okay or whoever saw it didn't get a scream much of it mm. you know why you would say you're going to take everything I've worked for? Since I'm the one that said I have the fame, you're going to take everything I've worked for and you're going to leave me empty and then go away. And then this babe had the mind to say, ah, uh, thank God she has bonded with my kid. That was the girl, the babe had bonded with your kid. Yeah, and I'm like, okay. Where, where is this coming from? Yeah. What I need is support from Nigerians. Oh. I, we do the most. Mm -hmm. We do the most. Mm -hmm. When I say Nigerians can humble you, mm -hmm. trust me, they can humble you in all ramifications. Be you who, <laughs> you know. So I have had my fair share mm -hmm. and I have also been apologizing to um, everyone. I've apologized to my in-laws, I've apologized to my family, you know, and of course, the family I've built in the past how many months, mm -hmm. from when I went into Big Brother and you mean now, your fans and all of yes, that. Yeah. I have taken out time to apologize. It wasn't a right move. Mm -hmm. You know, being from this part of the world, you know, I'm going to be judged by it. Mm -hmm. So I have apologized and yes. moving on. Moving on. I really want to do something better with the platform. That you were given. Yeah, that you, you know, get to God. Yes do something better with it so um this is me saying to nigerians i am sorry uh i'm a citizen of nigeria people cannot throw me away <laughs> so i'm sorry it wasn't all it wasn't from uh i, I didn't it wasn't in well if i say it wasn't intentional nobody will believe me you didn't mean harm. yeah i didn't mean any harm mm. i i was just going with the flow and of course yes we didn't have sex we didn't have sex in the house i didn't have sex Boma and i did not have sex so but of course being a married woman and you're kissing and all that that was a wrong move and i apologize so i need all the love all the support i can get right now to make whatever dreams i have come to reality thank you for talking to me and i wish you all the best Thank you so much for having me.